Right now, across the Northern Hemisphere, across the world's oceans, we have multiple hurricanes and typhoons active in different parts of the world. We have Regassa, which is causing havoc to Hong Kong and the Guangdong province in the South China Sea, a very violent and strong typhoon hitting the coastline. We have Niaguri off the coast of Japan and Northern Pacific. We have Gabrielle in the middle of the Atlantic past Bermuda, which is a strong hurricane, a Category 4. And now we have a new hurricane, Hurricane Nada, which has just formed in Category 1 status with winds of 85 miles per hour with a central eye pressure of 981 millibars, moving slowly at 13 miles per hour west away from the Mexican coastline and is located at 15.4 degrees north and 108.4 degrees west and is currently over very warm ocean surface temperatures of around 30 degrees Celsius. Now it is going to move west which is different to the previous eastern Pacific hurricanes we've had this season that have gone up the coastline towards the Baja California Sur and dissipated at higher latitudes. Nada is projected to move out into the Pacific Ocean and stay at hurricane level winds for two to three days and then start to dissipate when it comes into contact with the California current, which is a cold surface ocean current that moves down from the northern Pacific, down the west coast of North America and down into the, the tropical Pacific waters, mixing with those very warm waters. And it's part of the North Pacific gyra, that circulation of water in the northern Pacific. So Nada has a lifespan around three to four days as a hurricane, and then it's going to start to be deflected to the northeast and lose speed. However, that could change over the next couple of days based on the direction of Nada. If it stays in the tropics or starts to deflect early, or does it stay around 15 to 18 degrees north latitude and grow into a more powerful hurricane of Category 2 or Category 3 status?